Carry the microscope by the arm and the base. Plug in the microscope. Clean the oculars, objectives, condenser, and illuminator with lens paper. Switch on the power. Assess the microscope. The 4x objective should be in position. The iris diaphragm setting should always be equal to the objective power, so it should also be set to 4x. Set the focusing ocular to zero. The condenser should be set even with the mechanical stage. Adjust your chair for comfortable viewing. Guide a slide gently between the stage clips and align it with the back of the holder. Center the slide over the circle of light with the stage controls. The lower knob moves the stage left and right. The upper knob moves the stage front to back. Look through the oculars and move the viewing tubes until the image resolves into one circle of light. Do not press your eyes against the oculars. Keep some distance. You may use the microscope with or without glasses. Use the rheostat to increase the light to a comfortable viewing level. Use the course adjustment knob to raise the stage all the way up. Use the fine adjustment knob to lower the stage until the slide is in focus. Use the mechanical stage controls to scan your slide. Rotate the 10x objective into position and set the iris diaphragm ring to 10x. Focus with the fine adjustment knob only and scan your slide. Repeat these steps when you rotate to the higher powered objectives, matching the diaphragm ring setting to the objective magnification. To correctly put your microscope away, rotate the 4x objective back into position and set the diaphragm ring to 4x. Gently remove your slide and return it to the tray. Never remove a slide unless the 4x objective is in place. Lower the rheostat and turn off the power. Clean all of the lenses with lens paper. Make sure that the condenser is even with the mechanical stage. Make sure that the microscope head is aligned with the body of the scope. Unplug the microscope by the plug and wrap it into the cord holder. Never pull on the cord to disconnect. Cover the scope, hold it by the arm in the base, and put it in the cabinet with the arm facing out. Be careful not to hit any microscope parts when replacing the microscope.